Hello there everyone, it's me Harry, and um, I'm back doing my taste test videos, yay! Well, obviously after another hiatus, but you get the idea. So, what has been going on in the Mountain Dew realm recently? Well, a few things have been happening. Baja Bart Blast is now permanent, and there were some Baja flavours earlier on in the year rather than in the summer this time. Because what PepsiCo have done this year is they've released three new Mountain Dew flavours related to America. Well, one of them isn't really new. It's one that's been around um, back in 2020 and 19. I have tried before, by the way. But, yeah, you get the idea. So, th the flavours are Freedom Fusion, Star Spangled Splash, and Liberty Chill. And I'm going to be trying Liberty Chill today. So, so of course each um, can is, diff is coloured differently to correspond with the American flag. So this one has all sorts of different artwork on it. There's the Statue of Liberty riding a uh, dirt bike for some reason. So it's Liberty Chill. The Mountain Dew logo is identical on all of them. And it's a 50 flavours in one do. So, technically, as I stated before, this isn't a new Mountain Dew. This is a rebranding of Liberty Brew, which came out in 2019 and 2020, which I've stated before. Just with some new packaging to correspond with the two new flavours. So, let's give it a try. So with it being a 50 flavours in one do, it's meant to be like um, Dr. Pepper Mountain Dew or something. Definitely smells like Voltage or something along those lines. It's just got a very strong raspberry-ish smell. and the colour is blue. Hmm. The taste is very similar to when I tried it back in 2020. It doesn't taste like Diet Mountain Dew as much as the old version does, even though they both don't contain sweetener, but it still tastes diety for some reason. Or it's just got this really strange candy taste because of it being a mixture of 51, 50 different flavors. It's sort of a bit, bit like the um, Do SA variety from 2017 and 21, which was a mixture of Code Red Voltage and Whiteout. But yeah. I'm still not a big fan of this one. It's okay, but nothing particularly special. I actually think this one and the other one might taste a bit better. But you'll just have to see those another time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.